Picture this. You're juggling a dozen tasks, your inbox is overflowing, and your social media is buzzing non-stop. What if you could clone yourself to manage all of this digital chaos? Well, guess what? You can. And I'm not talking about science fiction. I'm talking about AI chatbots that can mirror your exact speech and know exactly what your content is about and automatically manage your DMs. It's like having a digital twin who is handling your conversations. Today, I'm going to show you how to create your very own ManyChat AI chatbot, and I'm going to provide all the templates so that you can set it up for yourself and have this live on your Instagram account, your Facebook Messenger, or WhatsApp within an hour or less. Get ready to meet your new virtual assistant who works 24-7 so you don't have to. Let's jump right into it. All right, guys. So as usual, I've prepared this beautiful presentation for you guys. We're going to be building a ManyChat AI chatbot, which is going to be an AI version of yourself. As usual, full set setup guide and all the templates will be provided to you. So it's a simple plug and play setup where you just need to tweak some things and it's ready to go. So what we will be building is a simple AI chatbot, which is trained on your content and your voice. It's able to respond to inquiries 24 seven and can be integrated with Instagram, Facebook, WhatsApp, Telegram, and more through many chats. So all you need is one many chat connection and you can set up all these different platforms for yourself. But this only scratches the surface of what is possible with many chat and AI. And at our agency, OmniFusion, we actually specialize in creating AI personas and AI appointment setters. If you guys want to test out our appointment setters, you can go to instagram.com slash AI closer or just type in AI Closer in the Instagram app to test our appointment setters. Our appointment setters and AI personas have a lot more advanced features which aren't outlined in this template, such as syncing all of the data into a CRM, scraping profile data to identify the name when speaking to a user. It can follow advanced and complex scripts. We have automated and custom follow-ups. We're able to book appointments throughout organic conversation. It has knowledge on your products and services and much more. If you're interested in learning more, please feel free to visit omnifusion.ai. Now let's jump right into setting this up for you guys so that you have a functional AI chatbot inside of your ManyChat within the next 30 minutes. So what you're gonna need is ManyChat. You're gonna have to connect your Instagram, your Facebook, or whatever platform you wanna use the AI chatbot on. Then you're gonna have to sign up to VoiceFlow, which we're gonna use to build the AI chatbot. And don't worry, you don't need any technical knowledge whatsoever. And then finally, we're gonna use templates from our school community, school.com slash OmniFusion. All the links are in the description and in the pinned comment, and I'm gonna walk you through where to find everything thing throughout this video. So let's jump right into building that. Before we do, I'm just going to introduce you to VoiceFlow real quick. If you click the link below in the description, you're going to get to the VoiceFlow homepage right here. What you're going to need in order to set this up is the professional plan for $50 a month. Very, very affordable. This is going to be more than enough for you to set this up. The free plan, unfortunately, will not be enough because you do need the API capabilities of VoiceFlow in order to set this up. ManyChat, on the other hand, costs only $15 a month and there's a 14-day free trial. So just click the link down below in the description for that as well and sign up to ManyChat if you haven't done so yet. All right. So once you sign up to VoiceFlow and ManyChat, the first step is going to be to adjust the chatbot template in VoiceFlow. Now, first First things first, you're going to have to go ahead and find the chatbot template, which you can find on school.com slash OmniFusion, which is our school community, where we provide all kinds of resources for free. It's about a week old, already over 400 people in there, a great community. All you need to do is navigate to the classroom in the top, and here you're going to find a special course just for this video. As you can see, there's already a course in here for the AI appointment center video, which I did last week. So if you haven't checked that out, check that out as well. There's going to be a course in here for this exact video with the same title. It's going to be easy for you to find. In there, there's going to be a file for you to download. Then you just go ahead, navigate back over to the VoiceFlow dashboard. And in the top right, you're going to see import.vf file. And that's the file that you're going to have to import. So just click that, import the file that you downloaded from the school. And then you should arrive at this screen right here, which is the template that we're going to be using. All right. So once you've imported the template into your VoiceFlow, this is what you're going to be seeing. And I'm going to explain how this works once in case it interests you. If it doesn't, don't worry at all. You don't need to know how it works because in just a second, I'm going to to show you exactly what you need to tweak. And at the end of the day, it's just going to work the way it's supposed to work. That's why I'm providing you guys with this template. But this is how it works. Going to run through it real quick. We capture the message from the user. So this is the message we're going to reply to. We capture that. Then we go ahead, set the memory of the conversation. Then
then we have this card right here which is where we generate a reply this is where we generate a response using a knowledge base now a knowledge base and we're going to go over that in just a second consists of documents which you give to the ai as knowledge so for example you could provide it with an ebook or with an faq and then the ai would use that faq or that ebook to answer questions and pull out relevant information from those context chunks which you provided to it now basically if we if we respond to this message then we just go back wait for the next message and respond again however we do have a not found path here which basically comes into play if the ai cannot find an answer to the question in the provided knowledge base now if that happens we basically check if the user asked the meaningful question or if he just said hey for example because in this case if i try writing hey it's going to give me a response preview of not found which means the user would not get an answer which we don't want if somebody says hey we still want to give them an answer so we're going to check if it's a meaningful question or not if it is a meaningful question then we go down this path and we say i'm sorry i can't help you with that and at the end of the video i'm going to show you how to set that up in your many chat template so that the user doesn't get this message but instead the, the ai just shuts itself off and you get notified or if the message isn't a meaningful question and we can answer it we just go Go up here and then we answer using a normal ai model which can just answer things in general or answer general questions if you want the ai to answer every single question no matter if the information is in your context or not you can just remove this part right here and go directly from this not found and connect it up to this general reply node so you can remove this and this and just hook this not found path up to here and it's going to answer every single message on your behalf now before we jump into the knowledge base aspect of things you're going to have to adjust a couple things which is the prompts now first things first let's go into this one right here the generate reply one all you need to do is scroll down here and here there's a couple of things for you to adjust so up here i've explained you are emil fashion my name an appointment setting coach who helps busy entrepreneurs automate their inbound dm traffic so you're gonna have to adjust this with your name and what you what you do this is a list of products you offer never mention products outside of lists uh, outside of this list so in this case i've mentioned auto igdm which is our automated instagram outreach chrome extension i've mentioned more clients with ai which is our school community and i've mentioned custom ai appointment setters and outreach development services with our website omnifusion.ai so you just go ahead replace this with your own products offers services i would recommend to stick to maximum of five and then you're pretty much done adjust the products and adjust this beginning part after that you're going to go ahead and click over here on content in the left side bar and here you're going to see knowledge where in just a second we're going to go over how to add knowledge to your ai chat bot. but if you click on the three wheels or the three wheels the wheel up here you're going going to see the same thing again for this also adjusted make sure to adjust this uh, beginning part and make sure to adjust your products this is actually what the knowledge base is so when we respond using the knowledge base this is the prompt that it uses and in this case it is going to promote things as well when it sees fit now in this case i've really prompted it in a way where it does not promote barely ever it barely ever promotes so usually it just answers questions instead of throwing in promotions what you can do if you wanted to promote more, is you can adjust this part of the prompt, or actually not this part, just this part of the prompt, where you can do your primary goal should be to help the user with their question, and at the end of your message, promote an offer or service from the list below. If you write it like that, it's going to promote an offer at the end of every message. So let's say a user asks, how can I learn how to automate my inbound DMs? And it's going to give the user an answer, and then at the end, it's going to say, by the way, we also have a school community where you can learn a lot more about that, and then send the link for the school community. So this is really the prompt is where you adjust the behavior of the ai and there's a lot of play around to do and i actually am just seeing this randomly so i'm going to hold it up into the camera the six elements of a prompt are number one context or persona number two task definition what should it do those two things are essential and then we have four optional ones which is examples expected behavior or constraints what is considered good and expect the steps towards the goal so this is the prompt framework which i live by and that's a quick piece of secret sauce for you guys so basically once you've adjusted these prompts all you need to do is go ahead and add your knowledge base now as i said before the knowledge base is going to be the key brain of your ai so this is going to be where it pulls out the knowledge from now what's important with this is that we don't want to put garbage in here the same way that you don't put garbage into your brain hopefully and you don't hang around on tiktok 24 hours a day you don't want to be putting garbage into here either sources which are really good knowledge based material are uh, if you wrote 
an ebook or you wrote a PDF guide on a certain topic, those are really, really good knowledge based sources. You can also just sit down and write down an FAQ document. That's a great knowledge based source too. Just write out everything you know about your products and services in a simple question answer format. What you can also do is take your YouTube videos or your social media content, transcribe all of that content, and then run it through ChatGPT with a simple prompt such as extract the information from these YouTube video transcripts and provide it to me in a bullet point format. That way you're going to extract only the most relevant information. And right now I'm going to go ahead and show you how you guys can ex extract those transcripts in a super accurate way. Now a totally free and easy way to extract transcripts is to go to youtubetranscript.com, select the video, paste in the URL, and then you're going to go ahead and receive the entire transcript. You can then go ahead and click on copy entire transcript and then go into ChatGPT and get that summarized. If you just copy it and input this, as you can see, there's a lot of mistakes in there because it's provided by YouTube itself. So it's not going to be high quality and you definitely need to summarize it. Now, a better tool is rev.com. You can just go ahead and make a free trial. I think they allow like 1,200 minutes of transcription. So that be, should be more than enough. And if you sign up to this, you can just input your YouTube URL and it's going to create a transcript for you. Now, the transcript on rev.com are going to be much higher quality than if you just take the YouTube generated transcripts. And rev.com also allows you to upload video files and it's going to generate transcripts for you. For example, if you have a lot of Instagram reels, upload those, get the transcripts. And then depending on how straight to the point the content is, you can either put those directly into your knowledge base, or I would take those transcripts once again, put them into ChatGPT and let it summarize it for you before putting it into a knowledge base. Now, once you have all of your knowledge base documents lined up, you're going to go ahead and upload them here. You can upload a lot of stuff. You can upload a text file, a docx file, a PDF file. You can even upload a public URL, which can be your website or an FAQ page on your website, etc. What I'm going to do in this case to avoid going through the trouble of all of this just for the tutorial, I'm going to go ahead and upload plain text or type in plain text just to show you guys the functionality. So let's say I want to add in some information on who the founders of Omnifusion are. So right now, if I go ahead and ask this chatbot, who are the founders of of Omnifusion. It is not going to be able to provide me with an answer and it's going to say, I'm sorry, I can't help you with that. And now we're going to go ahead and go back, go to the knowledge base and I'm going to add this in here. Now you can either do question who are the founders of Omnifusion and then answer and provide the answer, which can make sense in a lot of cases. In this case, it's going to be enough to say the founders of Omnifusion AI are Emil, Serda, and Semira. And I'm going to go ahead and hit import. And now this is part of our knowledge base. Now, if I go back and I ask the exact same question, who are the founders of Omnifusion, going to be able to give me a response to that question. And it's going to say the founders of Omnifusion AI are Emil, Serda, and Semira. Now, as you can see, in this case, it's really just giving me the answer instead of maybe asking a follow up question or directing me towards some sort of product or service. And as I said before, that really is a matter of how you write this prompt right here. So there's a lot of stuff you can experiment with here. And I suggest that you do and that you do a lot of testing. Also changing the AI model from GPT 3.5 Turbo to GPT 4 Turbo will make the AI chatbot a lot better. And you're going to need to do a lot less work in regards to the prompt to make it do what you want to do. However, it is 15 times more expensive, roughly, and you do pay for tokens inside of VoiceFlow. Um, and with AI in general, you always pay for tokens. So basically, all you need to do is add in all your information here, and then you are going to have your AI chatbot completely set where you can have free flowing conversations, you can answer questions. And if you want to incorporate your own persona, your own voice, your own tone, you can simply go ahead and add in something here where you can say, for example, you speak in a friendly yet professional way. You like saying, I love AI in the middle of your sentences. So if I add something like this, then it's gonna incorporate that into its tone. So that's something you can adjust to. As I said, the prompt really is the key to this entire thing, but the template which I gave you is very good in a non-promotional way. And as I said, if you just adjust this part, you can make it more promotional or less promotional as you wish. Now, the next thing we're going to do is access the ManyChat template and connect VoiceFlow with ManyChat. Now, if we go back to the school community, you need to go into the resource hub, the Omnifusion resource hub right here. And you I already have it opened up, but just scroll down to VoiceFlow integrations, full template, connect VoiceFlow within Instagram DMs and Facebook. Go ahead and hit this button right here, which is the ManyChat template. That's going to 
open up this screen right here. You just click save to ManyChat. And then inside of ManyChat, if you come over to your automations, you are gonna see the template right here. Just go ahead and open up that template, hit edit. And now we're gonna adjust a couple things right here to make sure that it works. First of all, we're gonna pull the trigger over there. And currently this flow only gets triggered if we send a message with a keyword containing a meal test. We wanna change that. So we're gonna go ahead and click on settings, click on Instagram and select an existing reply. We're gonna go ahead and select this right here and click on pick this automation. Now we're gonna go back into the automation, hit edit again, click on here. And if we click on, on default reply, which is the default reply, which you just set up, you need to make sure that you change it to every time if you wanna get a response every time. Otherwise it's just gonna work once per 24 hours. Now we can go ahead and delete the meal test trigger right here. And now all we need to do is set up a couple little things. So going back into voice flow, what you're going to have to do is ensure that you publish the voice flow template every single time you change something during your tests up here. You don't need to publish it to test your changes, but once you want it live inside of your Instagram DMs or Facebook, etc., you're going to have to go ahead and publish it. Then you go ahead and click on integration, go to dialogue API, copy the API key here, and then go back into many chat. And now for this, 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 and this one right here, you're going to have to go ahead, click on it, click on the external request and change your API key. Now just paste in what you copied from VoiceFlow and change your version ID to production. Go ahead and do that for this one, this one, this one, and this one. And for this one right here, the action three, we have a Google app script. Now the explanation for why you need this is when somebody sends a message with a paragraph, it's gonna break the extra request to VoiceFlow. So we need to remove the paragraph and that's what the Google app script is for. If you guys go back into the school and you scroll down, you're gonna see exactly how to set that up and you it also explains why we need it etc it's a very short five-step process we provide you with the code all you need to do is take the code add it to your google app script create the google app script and then replace this url that's all you need to do and then once you've replaced the url and set all of these up you are good to go and the template is gonna work so let me do that right now and i'll be right back i've changed out all the api keys and changed everything to production now all you need to do is hit update and it's already gonna work however i do want to show you guys real quick before we go ahead and test it as you guys saw when we set when we set it up here inside of voice flow we had the not found path where we say, I'm sorry, I can't help you with that. Now you can either send that message to the user and then you're just going to say, I'm sorry, I can't help you with that. And then wait to, until you capture a message again, or you can ensure that the AI turns itself off. And it's actually very simple to do that. And basically all we're going to do is right here before we send out the last reply, we are going to remove these two links, go to a condition where we're going to check if last reply contains, I'm sorry, I can't help you with that. Then we are going to add a tag and the tag is going to be AI turned off. For example, you can name it whatever you want. And if it's not that, we're going to send out the message Then we're going to go ahead and hook this one and this one back up to the condition. And now if we go down this not found path and we say, I'm sorry, I can help you with that. The user is not getting any message at all, but you are getting a tag added inside of many chats so that you know that this user ran into that issue. I'm going to go ahead and update that and let's jump into testing it. All right. So now let's go ahead and test this integration. We're just going to go ahead and send hey to the chat bot and we're going to see that we're going to get a reply back. Hello, how can I assist you today? Um, now we are going to ask who are the founders of OmniFusion AI going to be able to provide us with the answer Emil, Sada and Samira since we provided that information inside of the knowledge base. Now if I go ahead and ask something which it doesn't know, like where is Emil from originally? All right, so now that I asked where is Emil from originally, as you guys can see, no answer ended up coming and that is because does not have an answer to it. It went down the no found path and it sent I'm sorry, I I can't help you with that. However, since inside of our automation, we have set up, I'm sorry, I can't help you with that to not send a message and turn off the AI. As you guys can see, I now have the AI turned off tag because the value was, I'm sorry, I can't help you with that. And then the tag was added. Now this, as I said, easily changeable. You can easily switch it out and go ahead and remove this condition. If you want to send out the message, I'm sorry, I can't help you with that. You can set up even a custom alert. For example, if you're using Zapier, you can set 
set up an external request to the Zapier webhook and notify yourself in Telegram, for example, or in WhatsApp or wherever you want. And you can say, hey, a user needs attention. The AI has turned itself off for this and this user. So you can set all those things up. And those are things which we do for our clients at the agency as well. So now we've built an AI persona chatbot, which has knowledge on your business, integrated into many chats, set it up so that you can use it in Instagram, Facebook, WhatsApp, etc. And now before we hop off, I want to provide a secret hack for more leads on IG. And all you guys need to do in order to get that is go into our school community. Once again, go to the classroom and Seattle, my business partner and co-founder has a lot of awesome videos like getting your first clients for free, where he shows exactly how we got our first clients for our agency. And he has a whole section on automating Instagram outreach also inside of the resource hub, which is super valuable if you're a business owner and need more clients. I hope you guys found a ton of value in this video. If you did, please leave a like on this video. Leave your thoughts in the comments down below and subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to join our community on school.com slash Omnifusion to get a lot more templates and resources and content from us in the future. And if you want to work with us, please visit Omnifusion.ai. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a great day.